27 years there's been a St. Patrick's Day parade on Spring Road in Elmhurst. That's 1997, folks. I'm Ken Bartels from the Community Bank of Elmhurst. My partner, John Quigley, from the Elmhurst Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And John, we're here again for a great St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, Ken, and the early week weather didn't look too promising for us. Thursday was a complete rainout. Uh, Friday wasn't any good, but today it's sunshine and beautiful weather for St. Patty's Day. And we start out with a representative from the Elmhurst Police Department leading off the parade. Got Police Chief, Chief Mike McLean. Beginning of the parade is always kind of interesting because you've got a combination of vehicles and people walking and so there's usually some uh, some gaps but we've got the color guard in view now and uh, delighted to have them here on what you already described as a great day yesterday at this time we were in the middle of a big time <laughs> rainstorm uh, and uh, so we luck out again and happy st patrick's day to all of us elmhurst american legion thb post 187 color guard Kicking off our parade. Student Veterans of America, the Elmhurst University chapter. As you may hear once or twice during this broadcast, we both worked at Elmhurst University. Yes, we uh, did. I'm an Elmhurst College alum, uh, now university. Ken, you yes. know something about this year's Grand Marshal. I do. More than almost anybody in the parade. I do. So tell us who our Grand Marshal is this year. Well, the Grand Marshal this year is the Community Bank of Elmhurst. They've been a proud sponsor and parade organizer and behind the scenes force for all 27 of these uh, parades. And here's uh, bank representatives from both the Butterfield and City Center branches carrying the Grand Marshal uh, banner and uh, we're delighted to have participated in all these parades. Rich Reichert and the crew uh, walking by us now and as always uh, CBE sponsoring the York High School Marching Dukes. Well, there's going to be uh, eight music groups in the parade at least. We've got three or four dance groups, seven Shriners writing various things, and a few political candidates too. Seven Shriners writing six. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, and, and for some of the musical entries, as you know, uh, they're gonna be in kilts. So the fact that the weather lightened up a little bit, they will be most appreciative of that. And it comes as no surprise that we have a slight gap because it's the city of Elmhurst officials and they love to glad hand while they're moving down the parade route. Which exactly is what they should. We see Mayor Levin there in the middle right behind the banner and uh, Alderman flanking, uh, flanking him. So uh, we've got our city of Elmhurst officials coming down. Uh, by the way, today it is uh, it is Mayor uh, Mick Levin. <laughs> I guess so. Everybody's a little Irish on uh, St. Patrick's Day, even if we're even if and, we're a week early. And we'll see if he whips candy at me, which has become his his tradition. Hopefully, the mayor will come back and join us comes. a little bit later. Here it comes. Here Incoming. it comes. Here it comes. Nope, didn't uh, come. Well, he's a man of mystery. Uh, 
Oh, there it came. <laughs> he, at he attacked from the backside. Uh, well, fortunately, he missed me. So. Oh, he got me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the aldermen kind of spread out actually this year. We now have the uh, coming down with the uh, antique fire truck restored several years ago and comes out on parades Every single day. Parade in Elmhurst, you're gonna have the antique fire truck. And when you when you've got an antique fire truck, you need to follow it up with a few more modern ones, and these are Unbelievable machines. Quarter million to a half million dollars oh, yeah. per firefighting machine these days. Ken, you and I have been active with the Elmhurst firefighters as a group uh, doing a major project. You want to talk about that a little bit? Well, the First Responders Memorial Plaza, which will feature a sculpture by uh, local sculptor Jason Piat, uh, will be going up at fire station number two. Uh, it will be up. Groundbreaking is going to be April 5th, I believe, and uh, at 10 a.m. And then uh, construction will go forward and it uh, will be having it on uh, September 11. The uh, plaza should be open and available to the public. It's a great, it's a great thing. And uh, if you want to know, go to the city's website, how, to, how you can help, including uh, paver bricks where you can uh, honor family members and other uh, other people in your lives with a paver brick at the Memorial Plaza but it's going to be a wonderful addition to the Elmhurst landscape. Uh, the sculpture will be uh, two metal towers uh, and and intermingling with those towers will be a piece of the railroad that was bestowed upon Elmhurst uh, from underneath the Twin Towers. Correct. Uh, because Elmhurst police and firefighters went out there to help after 9-11. And that piece has been displayed numerous years, but now it's gonna be officially part of this sculpture. And it's a yeah. great looking sculpture. The ever popular Elmhurst trolley. Sort of slowed down here for a bit. I think, uh, I think some of the some of the many kids along the route and the candy and whatnot all, I think the trolley wanted to sort of slow up and let everybody take charge. And the trolley will return this summer, connecting Elmhurst City Center, the Spring Road Business District, and the York and Villette Business District. Elmhurst Heritage Foundation, the fundraising arm of the Elmhurst History Museum, brand new exhibit on uh, the home front of World War II, just opened, it's gonna be a, already is a great exhibit. History Museum does a great job. Superior Ambulance showing off their uh, horns. I also want to mention the Elmhurst Heritage Foundation's Beer Fest will be Saturday, September 14th. It'll be the ninth annual Beer Fest. Here's Deb Conroy, DuPage County Chairwoman's contingent in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Yet being an Elmhurst resident? Yep.
I'm sorry. I just can't get over that we get this day after the day we had yesterday. I know. I it's just like it's amazing. <laughs> but again, two weeks ago, we had a 75-degree day followed by a 30-degree day. That's true. Do more police vehicles and DuPage County Sheriff's Department. Hey John, this this rig here coming up is called Lola. You're supposed to break into lyrics at that. Hello, Ali Lola. How's that? Good. That's what you wanted? Very good. That was the one, yeah. Yeah, when all the other big trucks get into trouble, you call this one. That's a big tow truck, all right. Uh, ironically, they're called wreckers, but they actually yeah. <laughs> help those who are wrecked. Cindy Cronin Cahill, her contingent. Yeah, my four-year-old, both of my grandsons, a four-year-old and two-year-old, are down, down the parade from here. When those big trucks get there, they will be in absolute awe. So, Charlie and Eli watching the trucks. And the good weather allows for convertibles. Yeah. And as you can see, Ken, uh, the crowd has filled in considerably uh, since noon. Oh, we, we talked about it uh, like 20 minutes ago. It was not this deep. And then... Here they come. So come in from the neighborhoods, suspend their house parties for a few hours and head on over to the parade. The Elmhurst Blue Jays cheerleaders and palms. Well, it takes, it basically takes a year to plan this parade mm -hmm. off and on, certainly with the committee. And it's great to uh, once again be here and have this day turn out to be so great. President Troy Van Aken. Yeah, thank you guys. And aside from a large contingent marching in the parade, there are about 125 Blue Jay athletes who are serving as parade marshals for Correct. this. Yes. Yeah, the university is out in full here. Green Blue Jays, you don't see a lot of those in nature, but. Well, it is St. Patty's Day, my man. It is indeed. Well, University just finishing up a record 55 million fundraising campaign. They are building a new uh, nursing center on campus. First new building in about 15 years. So a lot going on. And the men's basketball team won the conference title and went to the NCAA tournament. All good things. And these Blue Jays didn't want to, didn't want to walk, so they hitched a <laughs> ride on a flatbed. <laughs> kind of wonder how they got selected to ride, and everybody else had to walk. I think GPA. Well, it can't be a St. Patrick's Day without the Shannon Rovers, and. Band of Brothers, I'm sorry.
fire engines brought to you by the Spring Inn. Here's the uh, York Township group. Parts of Elmhurst are in York Township. Parts are in Addison Township. And John from York Township. Oh, oh, we are live. Always brings us <laughs> our own here. packs you of candy. You it, John. And, and Tony yeah. Cazone's with them. Absolutely. Uh, can we get a quick shot of these guys? They yeah. did bring candy. Did. Wave, wave, guys. We wave. You're on camera. We recognize, there you go. We recognize so candy. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for coming yeah. by. Get yeah. out of here. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Thank you. you. You only get 30 seconds for a bag of candy this big. <laughs> York Township. Great guys. Here are the Elmhurst Bears, relatively new addition, but a great addition to the youth sports culture here in town. And Ken, over the years we've talked about how over the last 40 years, the opportunity for young kids to play in a variety of sports or to be in a variety of arts, dance, whatever it may be, it's amazing what Elmhurst offers. There's, uh, I didn't see Staley. Was he in that group? I don't think he's here. Oh, he's down the road. Oh, okay. Yeah, there he is. Uh, so, since we've got him here, Ken, uh, trade the pick? Oh, Take no. Caleb. No, don't trade the pick. Trade Justin. But are you saying take Caleb? Yes, I okay. am. Yeah. My feeling is they have no choice. They gave up the first round pick last year. They didn't they didn't do well with the Trubisky one. They're kind of forced. You got a default. This is your third opportunity for like a number one pick. You got to take it this time around. Well, that's the way I feel too, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Staley was doing tricks and now we've got a group of uh, cheers doing a few routines here from the TV camera, which is exactly what we want them to do. Great job, great job. Well, this is bear country. It, it, in fact, uh, without doubt. Strong contingent, and as I said, relatively new to the scene, but growing greatly. And I think. group goes on forever and ever. <laughs> Chewy Garcia and uh, Congressman Garcia's uh, group coming by. As Following that bear contingent, they got <laughs> As part of the most recent redistricting yep. in the state of Illinois, uh, uh, a new district, the fourth district of Illinois, portions of Elmhurst were filtered into that district, and Chewy became the representative. Got another little gap in the uh, parade. John, uh, were you aware, by the way, today is uh, National Barbie Day? No. Yeah. It I is. knew all, yes all yesterday day. was Women's International Day. Well, today is National Barbie Day. so. Uh, I haven't seen her, but uh, you know she's probably around somewhere. And there are certainly uh, a number of uh, young girls uh, watching the parade, and I'm sure they're excited about the fact that it's National Barbie Day. I also want to uh, take this opportunity. Uh, later on, the Elmhurst Armpit Orchestra will be going through. They're usually uh, a little bit farther down in the parade route, but. Earlier today at the American Legion, the EAO uh, 
bestowed on um, my partner, Mr. Quigley, the uh, colleagues, Colleen Sullivan Distinguished Service Award uh, for all the good work that he's done with the Legion and the parade. And congratulations, John. Thank you. Uh, the real honor is uh, I knew Colleen, uh, a, great, a great person and a big supporter of the community. And so to win something with her name on it, uh, that's where the real honor is. Exactly right. All right, yeah. Got Colleen the Sutherland Distinguished Service Award. And then we've got the Foy School of Irish Dance. I guess the jig is up. No? Up and down, yeah. I think. Yes. Right. It's the outfits that are amazing. Well, we just saw the down the street shot, John. It would appear that we've got another really, really good crowd. It's the start of spring for many, many people. And of course, tonight we've got to move our clocks forward. So yes. The good news is, Ken, I don't have to do that till the bar closes ah. at 2 a.m. Well, that's so good. it won't yeah. it won't affect my night of drinking. Yeah, well, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> so. Well, let me tell you, every bar in Elmhurst is going to be full today, tonight. Well, yeah, and in Elmhurst, we celebrate St. Patrick's Day a week early, so we can celebrate it again a week later. Kelly Stelter Compass Real Estate with the uh, a leprechaun driving rig. That's the biggest leprechaun I ever saw. That's that thing. So, what exactly do you figure the folks 27 years ago thought about when they decided, let's do, let's do a parade. Uh, maybe we can pull it off. Well, you know, um, there, were, there were three people in particular from the Spring Road area uh, that were interested in doing a parade. And Elmhurst Mayor at the time, Tom Marcucci, was supportive of the idea. Uh, and, you know, they kind of they pulled it together year one uh, but since then, it has grown into a monster unto itself where you got an eight block parade with about 20,000 people coming out every year. And we've traditionally joked, we should just line up the parade people and let the, the people march around them and keep the entries uh, all in one spot. Yeah, the uh, second largest parade, St. Patrick's Day parade in the state of Illinois Second only to, somebody told me that the city of Chicago has a parade, but I, I, I think it's a rumor. I've heard, I don't want to disparage it. Of course not. I, I, I just don't think it matches up to what we can do here. You know, they, they need like miles to do a parade. We just need blocks and we can pull it off. Well, the Spring Road area, such an dynamic uh, area for the city of Elmhurst. Downtown is absolutely wonderful, as we all know, but Spring Road has its own culture and its own uh, in, uh, excitement and enthusiasm built into it with a lot of new businesses having opened up very recently. Uh, we've got SBC Waste Management coming by. Yeah, like all, almost, almost all of the new bars and some of the old now do more outdoor exactly. dining. They yep. do outdoor, they, they use their back parking lots to do outdoor beer gardens. Well, and as you mentioned earlier, John, the, the Elmhurst trolley links links up downtown in Spring Road in a wonderful way for residents and guests. Yep, it's about a 15 minute loop to make it around those three business districts. So you can go to one, 
park at the public parking, leave your car, and hit the others, and then come back to your where your car was originally parked. And uh, news from the city of Elmers, not going to jump on Scott Levin's uh, report if he comes back, but the city, the city will be expanding public parking here along Spring Road. Uh, they have purchased some property adjacent to the parking lot, the main parking lot, and we'll be able to add 24 new parking spaces in an area that because of new development needs as much parking as it can get. Well, the whole city, the whole city is uh, vibrant. Uh, very, very low vacancy rates, wonderful uh, venues, food, beverage, entertainment, services. Uh, it's just a great mix, just a great mix of things. You know, one of, one of the examples that the, the parade staff of students helps to do is they keep the kids from rushing out into the street when candy falls short, and they pick that candy up and throw it in, back into the crowd. Exactly right, yes. I think we're in for a treat, John. We're gonna get ourselves a... And these are the Shannon Rovers. They are indeed. Got the uh, concrete doctors coming into your screen. John, have you ever tried to uh, play one of those bagpipes? No, but what struck me was the large contingent of female bagpipers exactly. as part of their group. Throw, throw candy, not concrete. about 90 entries again this year in the parade various 
sizes and groups and opportunity to come out on a very early spring Saturday and uh, parade yourself in front of 20,000 people. And a spring road business is right coming before us, Great American Exteriors. Doug Kuster from Great American way back in the day was yep. one of the three, one of the three originators origin. yep. of this parade. Exactly right. Along with Frank Catalano Sr. and Charity Ogram, uh, Charity Pagoni then, now Charity Ogram. Tailgate, doggy daycare going by and some representatives, clients. Boy, there's an array here. It reminds me that the pet parade will be coming up later in the spring. It is. The Spring Road Business Association met on Thursday and finalized details for that event. Still haven't seen Barbie, though. Kind By the a, way, kind on of a Where's Waldo thing. On pet parade, we've had people bring out horses, snakes, <laughs> parrots, you name, you know, mice. You name it. Lions and tigers and, and bears. bears. Oh, oh my. Yeah. But obviously, when you, it's mostly dogs, and certainly the Great Danes typically catch everybody's eye. Uh, there, there used to be a contingent that it, there'd be like eight Great Danes as part of a pack that came out. They were, they were always awesome to look at, and I brought my dogs out to the pet parade over the years. I have not done that. Uh, my, uh, our dog rather would uh, prefer to stay at home and eat treats. Uh, Pazzi de Pisa in downtown Elmhurst just went by us, and we have the Schiller team. At Properties, the Schiller team. I grew up on Washington Street about six blocks from here with two different Schiller families on that block, including uh, the original founders of Schiller Real Estate. Elmhurst Real Estate, probably a pretty good investment. Uh, Elmhurst Real Estate <laughs> has done okay over the years. Yeah. You can find a house by it. Well, wow, they're trying to do a clown car with all those kids in there. I'll say this, Ken. You know, 20 years ago, uh, when people would march in the parade, they were happy if they got like uh, a half dozen friends to march with them. And now these contingents, speaking of Great Danes, yeah. now all these contingents are, are like 30, 40, 50 people. Comes our next trolley into view. I, once again, and I know we've talked about the trolley already, but uh, such a popular, such a popular thing from June to September, culminating with Rock the Block, and then it usually comes back for the holiday season as well. So it's... Uh, I know blocks of neighbors who get together and walk to the local, the nearest trolley. Yeah, route I do too. And get on it. And they'll, ha they'll have drink, you know, cocktails in one, dinner in another district, nightcap back in their home district. Um, this is John Nolden, guaranteed rate. Team Elmhurst Soccer Club. Looks like they're gonna have big, bigger kids to carry that banner. Yeah, they're they're stretching it out.
Good group, though. Thank you, sir. That's another good size contingent. Yeah. A large underinflated soccer ball rolling down the street. This is the Antioch Brass Quintet, an absolute fixture. Every parade in Elmhurst I've ever done, they've been in it. They are constant for the Memorial Day Parade, returning on May 27th, 106th annual. We had a shout out to uh, Schiller earlier, here's L.W. Reedy Real Estate, located right in city center downtown. I saw this mini train crossing the prairie path farther to the west when we were getting set up and uh, looked kind of strange to have train cars going across the prairie path but there you go. here they are here it is rather hey ken i forget what what did the prairie path used to be i, I don't recall <laughs> it, uh, used to be a train line sure enough it was an old freight train line yep that went right by the end of my block at Washington. There we go, Larry Reedy going by. Maria Sinkle for DuPage District 1. Our hockey group coming up, Ken. You bet. The Elmhurst Chiefs. The youth, the youth athletic programs in town are just exploding, and uh, with the new homes and and young families moving into town with kids. It's, these programs just draw so well as evidenced by these large contingents in the parade. And then you get through the hockey and you're right back to youth football. Yeah, now, I, know, I know you used to play Ice hockey. Did you ever play hockey on roller skates? Uh, no, we that wasn't an option. 
We, we either played floor hockey or we were playing ice hockey at the YMCA or one of the park district rinks, but you can't keep an outdoor hockey rink anymore right. through winter. Here, here comes a, here's, and here's the, here's the football contingent, the Elmhurst Eagles. They've been around for a long, long time. Now, when I was a kid in Little League, we'd march in parades. Sure. So we'd, we'd be wearing our wool uniforms, marching in the 4th of July parade, which unfortunately no longer exists. Well, we talk about it all the time. Uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity for kids. I mean, we're going to see some Cub Scout groups and a few other things, although we generally see more of them in the Memorial Day parade. But... It's a, it's a great opportunity. It's something these young kids marching in the parade are likely to remember for the rest of their lives. Elmhurst Baseball League. Again, I'm still playing baseball at the age of 68, but you played Little League Baseball and you might play baseball for your high school. That was kind of it. Now you, get, now you can play in all kinds of travel leagues and special leagues and all that kind of stuff. Boy, we're we're collecting a fair share of candy today from folks. It's just loading it up. So the parade is about eight blocks long, roughly, maybe just a little bit longer than that. Units line up, starting at uh, Vallette all the way back into the 800 block of South Spring Road and then make their way forward and the parade then ends basically at the train tracks on the Spring Road. I think occasionally we have breaks in this parade so that the kids can go out and pick up the candy that's been left over. I can see you know, half a bag of Tootsie Rolls just from where I'm sitting. Yeah, really. We're getting some great, we're getting some great camera shots of, I look at that crowd. Yeah, you can see the throng and, and, of and then, people that go down blocks. The, the kids on the front line, because after all, there's a shortage of candy in Elmhurst. Uh, so you need to pick it up wherever you can. It's a, this appears to be a, a uh, reasonable gap, although I can see a uh, vehicle make it, making its way towards us. Now you can see right in front of us, again, they're trying to police the candy drops. Yep. You know. Entries are given instructions to hand the candy out uh, at the side of the streets, uh, but a lot of them just toss it, and candy goes awry, and you know how kids are. You got a shot at a Tootsie Roll. Yeah, well, I've seen you go after them, too. So. Yeah. like Goldfish Swim School is up on North York. There's a uh, goldfish right there, actually. Under, under new franchise ownership? It's been interesting. It used to be the only place you learned to swim was like the Y or, or the pools. Yeah. And now you've got swim schools sort of popping up in strip malls, which is... Pretty interesting, really. At, when I was at Elmhurst College, I proficiencyed out of the swim course by staying afloat for five minutes in the deep end of the pool. Well, I'm glad you were able to stay up or I'd be working with somebody else. Yeah, if they had, if they had asked me to stay up for six minutes, I don't think I could have made it. I could just get through five minutes. A lot of dog paddling. And my dead float 
What's to die for? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Got you on that one. Yeah, you, you did. Uh, it's... You know, Ken, you're no Colleen Callahan, who I used to do this parade with long ago, and from Jeannie Urich, who used to uh, produce these shows, she said the St. Patrick's Day Parade was first televised in 1997, and every year after. Uh, I have been announcing it since 2025. Uh, I've been announcing it since 2011. There you go. So you have more than a decade, and I'm closing in on 20 years. Well, it's an absolute joy. I, I, I love doing these parades. Uh, just great. think, when we started, Ken, neither of us were on Social Security. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. And I got to say, we're worth every dollar they're paying us <laughs> to do this. I think this, uh, this next holdup is due to the fact that the crowds are sneaking on to Spring Road and we've got ourselves a mini Shriner airplane the coming wingspan, here. The wingspan requires more room. And that's kind of slow in its movement there. Just yeah, they even bit. have one of the wings up right. on one of the sides to try and get it through. Might be a good idea to put the wing up on the other side too, but that's all right. It's making its way. It's, it's towards the end. We're very much towards the end of the parade uh, where our reviewing booth is. So, But uh, this is a kind of ambitious Shriner vehicle, I think. A one-man airplane. Dyna Aviators. As I said, there's going to be about seven versions of Shriner vehicles in this uh, in this parade. Yeah, we usually get the carpets, the motorcycles, the horses, yeah, the coolers. Pretty sure we're going to see most of those. So, and nothing's cooler than the coolers. No. No. I kind of, I've always been partial to the magic carpets. Got a DuPage County board member. Yeah, they're, they're passing out dog treats. Oh. That's a good thought. Oh, we've got Southpaw coming up. White Sox participating in the parade. Southpaw's got his own truck and doing a little Irish jig up there. Appropriately, Elmhurst baseball, youth baseball, contingent following up the White Sox. Of course, yeah, the White Sox are a big, a big sponsor of the Elmhurst Youth Baseball League. Spring training, of course, underway. Won't be long that we'll be seeing baseball on the north and south sides. By the way, Ken, do you know who threw out the official first pitch at Elmhurst Youth Baseball last year to kick off their season? Gee, John, I wonder who that was. That might have been me. Oh, my goodness. And I threw a strike, too. I'm just shocked. Was there anybody at the plate? 
Yes, there was. Oh, okay. There was a youth catcher. There you go. So you, but you called the pitch yourself. Yeah, I even made him get in the crouch. He was going to catch it standing up. And I went, no, no, get in the crouch. <laughs> I can hit the target. There you go. Might not there be anything on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get a look at who this is, and uh, Junior. They're they're junior, promoting their oh, there championship. There we go, Junior League champions. I just everybody kept getting in front of the banner, and okay. I wasn't quite sure. Oh, okay. I didn't know who the cow was, and uh, it's Jelly's Jelly's Ice Cream and Boutique on Vallette Street in Elmhurst. Culture Construction coming by with a pretty big pickup truck. Yep. And then we got some real cool cars. An old car with some retro design especially the wheels. Absolutely. You know, Chevy Impala. They don't make them like that anymore, John. No, they, those are now called boats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they don't fit, yeah. in the, they don't fit in, the, in the parking slots. Oh, no. Got an ATV coming up. Trinity Irish Dancers, long established dance troupe. I don't know if they're going to stop and do anything. Doesn't look well. Sure enough, no. just as I say that. There they are. We said it every year. You got to know where the camera is. Yep. If you're if you're a musical group or a dancing group, you got to make sure you stop at the main camera. And they did. Dancing on the float, too. Dance troops have had national and international champions come out of their midst over the years. It's a great tradition and wonderful addition to the culture. Thrive Pet Healthcare, which is on Butterfield Road in South Elmhurst. You know, Ken, one of the things we've always talked about, this parade takes a ton of work to put on. And it is the most demanding on uh, the Elmhurst Public Works Department, the Elmhurst Police Department, the Elmhurst Fire Department, uh, the parade committee, Jim O'Connor and his people who put it all together our TV crew, 
all that stuff for for such a small event, backyard kind of event. It's an enormous amount of organization. The Elmhurst Park District going by and and it's just huge events like this in the world we live in have to be so carefully monitored yes. too. And uh, we can assure everybody that this is very well policed and watched over as uh, we continue with our parade. Uh, before the parade even started, I had somebody say to me, uh, there are police on the rooftops. And I said, yep, we, we want this as secure an event as can be. There's drones, there's, there's undercover uh, to make it as safe as can be so that everybody can come out and enjoy this. Exactly right. Then continuing the Elmhurst Park District with Impact Impact Dance Company coming by. I'm always also struck by all the shades of green. <laughs> I mean, there's the classics, Kelly that just went by, and yep. but there's there's just so many shades of green, it's unbelievable. Elmhurst Dentistry for Kids coming by. Yay! Elmhurst y YMCA rather. Spent a lot of my youth at the Y. Basketball, hockey, swimming. And I am a supporter to this day. Uh, you the, might see a banner with my name on it in the gymnasium. There you go. The uh, Elmhurst, a community of little over 45,000 people. It's just amazing the number of organizations and uh, youth organizations, religious organizations. Of course, we talk about the business community all the time, but it's diverse, it's dynamic, and it's just kind of like ever-changing. There is no shortage of ways to get involved in this community. Got another dance group coming up, Ken? And there you see one of the dancers has, you know, world championship. Yep. Qualifier. Yep. Well, this on is their sashes. On your on your screen now. It's, there's a there's a big contingent of folks here. Yeah, there were several national championship and runner-ups and participants in that group. That was very World impressive. qualifiers. Yeah. yeah. Got G2 Roofing coming by. And we got some uh, Shriners. We do. We've got classic car Shriners. Mm. 
Amazing what you can do with fiberglass. <laughs> I bet they drag race those things out in a parking lot. I have no doubt. You want to get that engine warmed up once in a while at least. You sure can't do it in this parade. Stretch Lab going by downtown Elmhurst on 2nd Street. Some poor guy getting stretched out through this whole parade length. He's got to be pretty loose by now. no shortage of gigantic trucks it's this a, year. You know, we had one year where I think we had seven trolleys. Yeah, that's And right. this year's the big right, truck the year. the big truck year. Somebody got the memo, I guess. This one's got a Rainbow on the back and Candace Adams, clerk of the circuit court. Well, that, that's kind of different, actually. What, are you just helping yourself? We have a few cars coming through here with uh, affiliated with Roche. Sponsor of the parade. The student volunteers today are wearing are wearing parade parade related stuff that uh, has the Roche cars logo on as uh, they picked up the tab for those uh, items for the kids to wear. Kids, young adults. Yep. Lawn doctor coming by. If, as you know, Ken, when you have a dog, it doesn't. It's hard to have a lawn doctor. You need a lawn doctor, but you 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 can't you can't have one because your dog digs up stuff. I think this St. Patrick did show up. I did not know St. Patrick carried a shillelagh, but that's okay. And and of course, if you uh, if you talk with Mayor Tom Marcucci, ex-mayor, former Mayor Tom Marcucci, St. Patrick was actually an Italian who immigrated to England and then was hijacked to Ireland and worked, at, worked as a slave for a while. Well, you know, like they say, when you've got a choice between the legend and fact, pr <laughs> print the legend. Print the legend. Ah, here's a car for you, John. Yes, it is. It's a Shriner vehicle as well. It is. Knights of Columbus folks also coming by. But this is the Medina Car Club, and that's 1934 a 1934 Chevy. That is some styling. That is. 
That's 90 years old. Yeah. And it looks hot. Yeah. This one's kind of the same way. This is kind of the S. It's kind of the SUV version. Huh? That's a 41. Oh, here's one for you too, John. Classic Beamer. And the Beamers GoProing the event. Yeah. A little sports car. And then the little red Corvette. Yep. Too low to the ground. I like to go over speed bumps uh, at a decent speed. Elmhurst Art Museum is the sponsor of this, uh, this trolley entry. You know, we love our trolleys. There's no question about it. Elmhurst Art Museum. Sitting right there in uh, Wilder Park. W3 Body, a women's training gym at the south end of town. Yep, absolutely. Probably been open about three months or so now. Well, once again, you know, we've seen these crowd shots. I mean, it's just, it's always amazing to me the number of people that come out and how quickly they materialize. Yep. You go, you go along the parade route, uh, even before the parade starts, and there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of people who have already put out their chairs, their blankets, their tarps to claim their space to see the parade. Davy Tree going by. Elmhurst, of course, is a designated tree city. Forestry Department does a great job of, of uh, not only maintaining trees, but getting them replaced when they need to be. Endeavor Health, the new name for Edward Elmhurst and Elmhurst Hospital. Good to see them with the new color scheme, the blue and white. Oh my goodness, Colin's wearing a kilt. Sure enough, he is. Well, you know, he can get away with it, though. He's, yes, he he's can. A, he's about about as Irish as you, it gets, I yes, think. Yes, he is very, very Irish. He was looking forward to this parade. We're going to be joined by the head of the Park District, Jim Rogers. Jim, thanks for stopping in. Your contingent went by, and you finished out the parade, circled back. We appreciate that. You bet. Happy to be here. It's a fantastic day. Once, uh, once again, another great parade. Absolutely. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set you up here. I was fortunate enough to serve on the Elevate Elmhurst Advisory Committee. Uh, can you talk about what's coming down the road because of that? And don't forget to mention the dog park's going to open this year. Yes, I'm happy to mention both of those things. We're very excited. Uh, as John said, uh, first and foremost, that uh, Elmer's first ever dog park will be opening later this fall. We're excited that construction will be starting as soon as, I was going to say as soon as the winter weather breaks, but we know we're already having spring-like temperatures. So construction is going to start uh, very shortly here, and we look forward to it opening later, uh, later this fall, likely in September. And then the other thing John was referring to is our new Elevate Elmer's Parks plan that the Park Board just recently approved. And what that's telling us, not surprisingly, with all the feedback that we've been able to gather from the community, is that there's still a need for, tremendous need for indoor recreation programming space in the community. 
People want an indoor running track. They want somewhere to play pickleball. As we know, everyone, probably half the people at this parade are playing pickleball these days. So we're going to start to look at opportunities to provide that. We're going to need more feedback and input from the community to do that. But we're, uh, but we're really excited about what, uh, what we have coming down the road here. I see Catholic Prep went by, Kimmer's Ice Cream going by. And, and Jim, about this time, they, you also start sprucing up the parks. Yes, sir, that's exactly right. And, and it's funny you mention that, Ken, because we were just talking about the fact that given how mild this winter has been, our crews are so far ahead of their spring prep. I saw them the other day actually putting down uh, grass seed, believe it or not. Because And now, we, we've joked, though, we're really hoping it's not going to snow on Memorial Day weekend when the, when the pool's open. We're really hoping that doesn't happen. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> so that's, that's absolutely great. No, well, we're excited. Park District such an integral part of the community and uh, so many things that people are aware of and then all sorts of things that you guys do that most people aren't aware of. Well, and I, that's a great point, Ken, and you know, we're proud to have parks in every just about every neighborhood in town. By the way, I was going to tell you, this could be a dangerous place. Candy rains yes, down on yes. you from all directions. I'm noticing that. Uh, but I was going to mention that another thing we're really excited about this year is that uh, we'll be constructing Pick Park, which is a brand yep. new park for, for the Elmer's community and the Pick subdivision over west of Route 83 and north of, north of St. Charles Road. That, uh, that community has never had a park, and so we're very, very excited to bring that park to that community. School of Rock going by. I think you probably knew that. Well, we're, we thank you for coming by. You bet. A lot of great things going on, as always. Thank you. You know, the hardest part, we've said this for any organization operating in Elmer's, is Elmer's people have come to expect top line of everything. That's right. Um, they just aren't always willing to, to expend well, to get the best. And that's what so, we're going to find out this year. So whether yeah. it's the yeah. park, the library, the school district, the city, all of you uh, taxing bodies have done an amazing job to maximize the use of dollars, partner with people. Yes. Um, it was mentioned at the uh, Elmhurst University's President's Breakfast this morning that the Park District and the University and a state grant Correct. put $400,000 available yep. for baseball field renovation. Yep, at, Plunk, so, uh, at so, Butterfield Park. We're so very excited about that. the Park District's only paying Absolutely. 25%. That's correct. The University's only paying 25%. 200,000 coming from the state. That's a great way to leverage yes, the money. Absolutely, John. We're really excited about that. And to that same thing, all these projects we're talking about, we've got a big grant from the state for the dog park. We've got another big grant for the pick park as well. So absolutely doing that, trying to leverage the community's tax dollars in the best way we can. Terrific. Thank you, Jim. Great. Thanks, you guys. You Have a great rest of your parade. Thanks a lot. Joe Heddle for appellate judge. Yeah, we had a number of candidates go by during that sequence, and we uh, we know they got recognized on camera. Including my alma mater, oh, yeah. IC Catholic Prep. Absolutely. Mosquito Joe coming down the road. Don't have to worry about mosquitoes on a day like today, though. No, not today. Maybe later this afternoon. Yeah, when it gets up to 70? Yeah. And I mentioned IC Catholic Prep. Uh, we have IC Grade School uh, coming up as well. Nineteen sixty nine graduate of the grammar school and seventy three graduate of the high school. Can I see us? Yeah, go nights, nights are the best. Thank you.
Oh no, we're not, we get no shortage of candy. And we've talked about the education side here in Elmers. Yep. A great public school system in District 205 and a community unit district so that the, the grammar school, middle school, high school are all connected in how they do things. And then you've got great private educational opportunities, uh, in, including uh, religious ones. Uh, so you've got Emmanuel Lutheran, uh, Timothy Christian, Visitation, Immaculate Conception. Um, not too many communities can offer all that. Oh, and by the way, uh, a world-class university. Yeah, it's a uh, it's an absolute blessing, and uh, it it helps make Elmhurst a great community that it has has been for its entire history, going back to 1836. But it's just a marvelous time to be associated with this city. Blues hockey team just went by us. Doshi Orthodontis right here on Spring Road. Dr. Doshi recently uh, concluded his term as uh, president of the Spring Road Business Association. He did that for several years. Judge John Anderson for the appellate court. Well, Jim O'Connor and his parade staff uh, obviously, you know, put together this this day for the community, but uh, they uh, they reported that they had a lot of late political entries. Yep. And uh, I think that's been uh, apparent uh, so far. Yeah, we got the Chicago Dogs. Who let the dogs out? Here's the Elm Elmhurst Armpit Orchestra, fixture in this parade for as long as I can think. Hey, uh, it's kind of hard to describe what this is. Uh, you just sort of have to experience it. But it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for people to uh, act out in ways that they might not otherwise. Uh, any, uh, no traditional, no traditional instruments, no traditional garb, no traditional talent, uh, but they exist and they're a group to be reckoned with. And here's, you and here's Mary, the world's largest drum. Yeah. Um, you may you may think that this contingent um, drinks heavily, and you would be correct. But only from dawn to dusk. Yes. Yeah. So. They. They do have their limits. Yeah, there's limits to everything. I mean, come on. Marty Deuter, candidate for state representative, current Elmhurst alderman. Alderwoman, yep. And the mayor is marching with. Uh, sure enough. Yeah. Watch this. I wonder where he went. I fired back at the mayor. Exactly right. Oh, 
By the way, I'm going to out you. Uh -oh. Less than two weeks ago, Ken had uh, surgery to his right shoulder. And he's back here. He's doing it. Oh, can't miss that. I, I scheduled it. So that it, I, I scheduled it so that I'd be ready for the parade. I mean, but there, mean, but there are mean, priorities, you it know. It means you've had to work today with only one hand on the mic most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it went well. That's the important thing. So now with the Elmhurst Armpit Orchestra going by, we've got to be in the uh, closing segments of the uh, of the parade. Oh, we can only hope. <laughs> Well, we have another car contingent, and I know there's a Shriners group behind them. This is the more traditional Shriners, i.e. Colin, stand behind her. Now i got to see if I can do this right. Uh... Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Here's the traditional Shriners, uh, what they used to ride around exclusively on. Uh, so while the Shriners are here revving up their motorcycle engines, uh, we have Dr. Kimberly uh, Derry, president of Endeavor Health. Thanks for joining us. Uh, behind her is uh, Colin DeLau, who uh, has does governmental relations. And I've got to be honest, he's also chairman of the board of directors of the Elmhurst Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And he looks by good the, at a kill. By the way, nice <laughs> kill. Yeah. Um, you know you're not supposed to wear anything under the kilt, though. Yeah. So uh, I do. I do have prompts here. Uh, now, the new Endeavor Health yes. is the third largest health system uh, and the third largest medical group. Tell us about the new name, the mission, and what's going on. So our because you already got the swag up. I already got the swag on, and uh, <laughs> Jim so, Rogers just went through that. Yes. Well, you know, um, we are so excited about our new brand, Endeavor Health. Uh, the best thing about our, our new brand is that our hospitals are still, uh, we are still Elmhurst Hospital, uh, but our, our parent name will be Endeavor Health. Uh, we have the same providers there. We have the same staff. We are going to deliver the excellent safe care. So we are just so excited to now expand our network to nine hospitals. And other than the swag you're currently wearing, mm -hmm. How are, how are you marketing and promoting this changeover? I've Absolutely. seen some of the billboards already, yes. some of the commercials. So. Yep, we have commercials. We have, uh, we, we're also at print ads and newspapers and, and magazines. Uh, so we have really uh, going to expand over the next few months so much more of our advertising. Well, I'm advertising for you right now. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> had, it, had my shoulder done there and was a great job. Yes. Now we and I had my knee done there, there last go. June, and it's a great job. That's great. So you've got two satisfied customers. <laughs> uh, back in my youth, I used to be a regular participant at the emergency room. Yes. Um, <laughs> but but one of the things we've talked about of all the good things, the schools, everything that goes on, having a healthcare system in your town all can can make or break the community. Absolutely. And you guys have not only maintained the involvement of people in the community, mm -hmm. obviously Colin with the mm -hmm. chamber, but you've expanded on that, a recent um, multi-million dollar grant program. Yes. Talk, to, the, talk yes. to that. So we have a community investment fund where we actually give uh, um, grants uh, to uh, local, all our community non-for-profits uh, to help further a lot of the health healthcare, whether it's mental health, uh, food insecurity, job creation. So we actually invest in our community, and so we're really excited. And it's multi-million dollars. Yep. Yes. And and in 2023, the hospital helped us stage a, a active shooter training program yes. for businesses last June, mm -hmm. and then in August, uh, you were a big participant in a multi-chamber hunger action luncheon yes. that benefited the food pantries. We gave money to the Elmhurst Yorkfield Food Pantry, which, by the way, was also a grant recipient uh, Absolutely, of one it of was. your grants. So, exactly. I uh, want to thank you for coming by. Thank you so uh, Colin, much. We appreciate thank it. You. Uh, your insight was amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Always, always good to be here for you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And I'll see you at the board meeting on Tuesday. You bet. Thank all you right. all so much for having me. You bet. Endeavor you Health. You thank, you. thank you. Thank you so yeah. much.
Well, we, we may, I know Helping Hands Cleaning Service went by, a great business in Elmhurst. Pilot Pete's went by. Pilot Pete's went by. We just had uh, Redfin come by with another trolley. I think we're at four on trolleys, but I, I think yeah. we're around seven on big trucks. <laughs> so big trucks are winning the, winning the day today. Yeah, it's a, you know, we're, we're talking about the health care being so important in this community. And you and I are perfect examples of that. Oh, gosh, you yeah. Know, we, we underwent... Chicago-style roller derby coming up. I'm sorry, John. Yeah, we underwent surgery that has, that has become routine. It wasn't routine when it first happened, but shoulder surgery, knee surgery, it's become routine. Uh, and we're lucky to have be able to do it right in our backyard. Roller derby, John. It's not too late. You could get. You could do that. I uh, I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. I grew up at the Elm Roller Rink. Yeah. You put your right foot in. You put your right foot out. You put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. What's that That's got to do with the roller all rink? About. That was the dance on the roller rink. Oh, I didn't know that. I could never roller skate, actually, to tell you the truth. I used to used to roller skate like I was on a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> one, one leg rigid and the other one pushing me along. My the Wandering Shamrocks Harmonica Band. I wonder what they play. My eldest sister was a skating champion. There you uh, go. With the Elm Roller Rink. That's uh, great. In pairs. I'm sorry, I have to rush home from work to go to my harmonica practice. Uh, it's, it's a musical talent without doubt. Uh, I like harmonicas, actually. Well, Neil Young of Crosby, Stills, Nash you Young, bet. a great harmonica player, used to leave his harmonica in a glass of vodka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mick Jagger, Stevie Wonder, they all, everybody plays harmonica. Yeah. Uh, the Roosevelt at Salt Creek, renamed a longtime facility in Elmhurst. And again, serving a segment of the Elmhurst community that can stay in town. Exactly. After they sell their home and they're older. And they may need they may need some nursing care and other help. There's also independent living options. I'm going to absolutely let you handle this one. <laughs> Why you don't think I can say mother puckers? Women's hockey team? I just didn't trust myself. Oh, I just. Tammy Granato, the greatest women's hockey player in the history of women's hockey from the Chicago suburbs. Yeah, they're, they're taking shots as they go up the street. And I mean, all kinds of shots, I suspect. Not as, not as many as the uh, <laughs> armpit orchestra took. <laughs> that's, that's true, yes. I goalied in hockey for many years. I'll tell you, you watch a U.S. you watch a USA Canada women's hockey game. Oh yeah, that is great hockey. It is, it absolutely is. And there's no love lost between the two groups. And here's the cooler group, very cooler. Cool Shriners with the coolers. Yeah. 
They sound like the geese that go over. <laughs> Spring is in the air, John. The geese have been flying north now for a week at least. Oh, I know. I see flocks of them everywhere. But I'll know it's official when uh, the, the couple uh, comes back to the my neighbor's pool. There you go. That they've been coming there for years. <laughs> Crazed Coolers, the DuPage Shrine Club. Here's the green group, keep Elmhurst green. Can't, cannot pick up what this unit is, but. That's part of the green contingent. Oh, all right, all part of keeping Elmer's green. Escorted by half the parade staff, I think. Well, we alluded to it earlier. I uh, don't really know if 27 years ago the three planners thought that they were creating something that would get to be this massive. Oh, in, in no way. Well, you, you know, you were you were around for the start of Elmfest. Oh yes. And and that was like a block, and then it became a huge event that we uh, we had to walk away from when. Uh, the Great uh, Recession of 2007 came. Really glad to have been a today. Let's be a transportation for any occasion. My name is Cash Cash. Feet's got me moving on my feet. Run, run, Rudolph, as fast as you can. We're building houses out of gingerbread men. I'm so ready in my stocking, cause I know this. He's That was uh, Grind Time Enterprise there that went by. It's Park Place of Elmhurst, another senior assistance community, as you were mentioning earlier. Mm -hmm. Fenwick, Fenwick High School. They're not in Elmhurst, but there's an awful lot of Elmhurst people at Fenwick High School. There always has been. So. Follow that up with phase three brewing. One of the one of the new members here on Spring Road. Yeah. Veterinary Emergency Group following up. Serve pros coming down the street. <laughs> and 
And then, Ken, I think we're done. Really? It snuck I, up on us? I think it's nothing but street sweepers and garbage trucks. Well, there's a, I can see the, the, the uh, garbage truck, and looks like there is just a parade staff vehicle behind it. So... And actually, this is the kind of parade where you can have a street sweeper coming down the street and not have it back up traffic. Where well, we're at the close of the parade, as you suggested, John, and it's been a wonderful afternoon. We got a beautiful day on the heels of a very rainy one, early spring 2024, and uh, I'm already looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward to a cold one. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Parade. Take care, Elmhurst. <laughs>